wanted to read a book with you from my couch with Cora, my dog, and my stuffed animal for Spirit Week. I thought we could read the book Fluffy and Barren by Laura Rankin. One summer day, someone new waddled into Barron's life. Her name was Fluffy. Barron had to share his food with her and his water. At night, she even followed him to his favorite sleeping place. They became friends. Every day, the two of them played together. Barron was good at tag. Fluffy was great at hide and seek. Both of them were terrific at squirrel chasing and fly snapping. As the summer passed, Fluffy grew bigger and bigger. By autumn, she was a full-grown duck. She and Baron stayed close and warm together all winter long. Then spring arrived and three wild ducks landed in the pond. Fluffy watched waddling back and forth toward the newcomers and then back to Baron again. But finally, she couldn't resist joining the other ducks. Suddenly, Baron had no one to play with him. When it was time for dinner, Fluffy still hadn't returned. Baron had to eat alone. For the next three nights, Fluffy didn't curl up with Baron in their favorite sleeping place. Fussy, Cora, come here. See? Yeah. Then the wild ducks flew away. See? Wild ducks. Baron tried to play with Fluffy, but she was too busy making a nest. She laid nine eggs in it, then gently settled herself atop and waited for them to hatch. Four weeks later, there were duck ducklings. Fluffy wanted Baron to be the first one to meet them. Baron's tail wagged and wagged. Fluffy's wagged a lot too. At last it was time to play again and oh what fun they all had. That evening Baron led the way to dinner. Never had he shared a happier meal. And after such a busy day, everyone was eager to snuggle in together and fall asleep. Baron felt cozy and warm in his favorite sleeping place with nine brand new friends, and best of all, his old friend, Fluffy. Thanks for reading with us, me and Cora and my gorilla for Stuffed Animal Spirit Day. Have a great time, rest of your day. Bye.